obliging. It's Andrew T versus Abyss. Both these players popular in the chat. Come out, show your support. Who do you think is going to win this set? Anything. Three, two, one, go! All right, here we are getting started on PS2. Mithra versus ZSS. The blows are flying. The percent's pretty even so far in this battle of a bevy of bodacious babes. Let's see who's going to take the early lead. Nice vote on edge. Oh, very nice catch there. That F smash absolutely cleans that first stock. And Abyss takes an early lead. Very nice bread and butter. Gets hit by the paralyzer, but doesn't get punished too hard. There's another F smash. Oh. Swings big with the Pira edge guard, but doesn't quite make it connect. Oh. Engages the switch too smart into the blast zone and ends up SDing there. Very unfortunate, but he still has the lead. He just cannot lose this momentum. Andrew T fighting his way back into it slowly but surely. There's the paralyzer. Oh, not quite enough yet. Oh, the berry, not able to mash out. That boost kick is definitely gonna clean it up. Andrew T takes the lead. Oh, but Abyss answers it right back. We have a perfectly even game. Who's gonna come up in the clutch here? Andrew T making a case for himself. He's got Abyss in the corner. He finds his way out though. Oh, not sure if that was a misinput or not. Oh, very nice up air chain. This can go either way. These next couple interactions will almost certainly decide the game. Well, this swinging big with the S smash, hoping to end it fast. Very nice. Not quite enough yet. Goes for another up smash. Switches to the Pira. And there it is. More than enough. Abyss taking game one over Andrew T.
right, here we are, game number two, same stage. And Abyss maintain his lead. Will the Clutch Master and True T find his way back in it? Once again, let us know in the chat who you are rooting for. I know Andrew T always has shooters out there. Two cheeky down airs in a row from Andrew T. Very interesting neutral option he seems to be thrown into the mix. We already have a switch to the Pira. Is he gonna close this stock out or is he gonna get punished for it? There it is, the back air. Andrew T taking the first stock. Oh, big swing with the F smash, but the flip kick gets over it. Not much of a punish for the big whiff there. Nice drag down. This definitely wants to seal this stock up as soon as he can. Bleeding a lot of momentum here. All right, that's very good. Good death deck. And that's gonna be enough off the top. Abyss taking Andrew T's first stock. Lots of percentage to make up for here. This switch into Pira trying to go for a decisive stock, get something early here. Ooh, big swing. Very nice catch there. Oh, and Andrew T just can't get out of the disadvantage. That's it. He's on his last stock here in this game, too. If something doesn't change here, Abyss is looking to go up 2-0. Oh, it gets caught by the up smash, but it's not enough yet. Can you get more than 32% of extra credit? Ooh. Oh, can he get off of the corner here? 153%, oh! That's just rage, though. Big damage there. Oh, this could be a good punish. Oh. 171%. Can he get out of the corner? Oh, just S smashes his way through. That up smash definitely going to clear it up. But Andrew T is sitting at 98% on his last stock. The situation is dire. He's going to have to clutch this out. Oh, this is it. That back air, enough to clutch it out from behind. Andrew T evens up the set one to one. Finally got someone in the chat repping one of these fighters. Here we are, game three. A 
this has been opening strong so far in this set. Let's see if Andrew T can find the adaptations. Good punish there. There it is, that down air to unexpectedly get himself back onto the stage. Oh! Big damage there, but not enough for the kill just yet. Nice back air. And the up smash takes it off the top. That's Andrew T going up on the first stock. Another up smash. Oh, that's definitely going to do it. Abyss coming back into it, taking Andrew T's first stock and tying up the game. A devastating sequence from Andrew T. Just looking for a comeback with his Kira, hoping to even up her. He's stuck on the ledge. Andrew T lets him out. Oh, that's gonna do it! Nice catch there. Abyss takes that second stock and it goes up two to one. All right, we got uh, Cookie Jars going for Andrew as well as Devoted. Yo, Devoted, what's up? at 135%, but he's taking on some pretty reliable extra credit here. Oh, he's not just going for extra credit, he's going for the game right now. Undaunted by the fact that he's at kill percent. There it is, the side B is gonna take that stock. Is 70% going to be enough to avoid the Andrew T clutch factor? Game three of an even set is a very pivotal moment in terms of winning the counter pick war. Anything can happen here still. It's a very minor percentage deficit for someone like Andrew T. Oh, good stage control. Gonna make a ledge trap happen. Oh, catches him in the center though with the up tilt, and that's enough. Abyss takes game three and goes up in the set two to one. That's not over yet though. This is top eight, which means we are first to three. Doesn't seem to be any counter picking going on. We are back on PS2 for the fourth time now. 
Both players confident that this is about hashing it out between them and the stage has little to do with it. Ooh, good read. Ooh, going for broke here. Barely falling out of that big S up smash. Oh, up, oh, wow. Slipping away from that, but ends up getting caught by the aerial, and that's going to be the first stock. Abyss taking an early lead here. He's growing the lead quite nicely so far already. 50% of extra credit, 73%. Oh, and there it is. He just takes that second stock out of nowhere. Abyss is running away with this game for and potentially the set Andrew T is on his last stock. 134% but still on his first stock. A whole stock plus 40%. This is a more than extra credit at this point. Entity's in an incredibly precarious position. He's got to be looking for a gimp or an early kill here. He's swinging big, hoping to catch Abyss being too antsy. Oh, there's the Paralyzer into Boost Kick, though. And that stock goes away. Only 7% of damage. Abyss needs to buckle down and do what he has been doing, or he is in danger of letting this game slip away from him. There's that cheeky down air again in the middle of the stage. You think it's a Wi-Fi warrior move, but uh, Entity's shown that it can work sometimes. There's the up smash. 120%. He's feeling brave, he switches to Pire. He knows the neutral isn't as good, but he needs to get this kill. Coming out with the short hop fair. He's being so slippery, but he can't slip away from that. And there it is. Abyss takes the set over Andrew T. Three to one.